Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> doing another Halloween look. I am attempting another Halloween look. Uh, this is my third Halloween look this month and if you've been following me, you know that I don't do like any of this creative makeup stuff and so I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys are having fun following me along. Um, I picked up a bunch of these like $1 headbands from Target and I was in between the mermaid and the unicorn and I did a brief vote on an Instagram story and you guys wanted to see a mermaid look. So here I am, I'm gonna attempt a mermaid look for you guys. So real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do this look without any face paint and I am also going to do one without like the fishnets because I feel like that is sort of like, not that it's overdone because I think the fishnet makeup like mermaid look is really cool but I think there's enough out there where like you don't need me to do it again. Also, I don't know where my fishnets are, so let's just get started on my version of Mermaid. Okay, so I have my foundation and my eyebrows on, and I also popped in these, I think are their Brilliant Blue Air Optics contacts. I am probably going to be using a combination of the Vivid Pigments by Colored Rain, this Elsa palette by uh, Beauty Creations Cosmetics, and then some of these glitters in here from, uh, this is the Dream State palette from Bad Habit. If I use anything else, I'll just list it on the screen. I think I'm just going to have so much going on that I'm going to do this kind of as a voiceover, kind of not. I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going with this yet, but let's just dig into it. So taking this blue from the um, Beauty Creations Cosmetics palette, I'm going to be using this sort of as like a blush. With this blue, I am just trying to get this to be kind of opaque and I'm doing it on my cheeks and also bringing it up towards sort of the middle of my forehead horizontally. So taking this green, um, I am using this as sort of like my highlight color um, on top of my cheeks. With the green, I'm going kind of the highlights of my cheeks like I was talking about, but then also um, on my forehead, bring it down almost like in between my eyebrows, but just below the blue. Next, I'm going into the color drain. I'm going to take probably a couple of these purples um, and use it as like my shadow color of my contour. And so this is like into where I would normally put contour um, or bronzer, kind of like under uh, that cheek. So next one I'm going to attempt to do is use a dark brown. This is just like a coal eyebrow pencil. Honestly, this one's from the dollar store. This one's like the Color Mates brand. Uh, and I'm going to attempt to just draw my scales on. Okay, so this, this was like actually kind of pretty complicated, but I would recommend using a pencil that is more on the waxier, softer side, just because if it's too like dry, I don't actually think it would draw all that well on your skin. Um, so I would recommend like an actual pencil like this and, you know, sharpening it as you go as you need to, but uh, otherwise just have at it. So now I'm going to go in and kind of like smudge up the scales so they don't look so like well defined. And I'm just going to use this like darker brown right here out of the Elsa palette. So here I, I tried to add a little more dimension. I don't know if I actually succeeded um, in doing what I wanted to do, but it, it kind of just gave it a little bit more depth, I feel like. Um, it didn't turn out quite the way that I wanted it to. I wanted it to have more texture, but I then like had to go back and pat down the colors from before right on top just to get that to show up a little bit more because it was getting a little bit muddy. Next, I'm going into this Dream State palette. And I am going to take this blue, this like seafoam greenish color, and maybe this green, and just tap it on like the respective colors and also this like little purple. Um, that's just to like brighten up the look. It's very matte right now and I'm, I want it to be a little bit shimmery. And so I'm just using my fingers, just really lightly going over like the fat parts of the scale. Okay, so I like that it's just got a little bit of shimmer on it, but not it's not like too much, it's not like glitter. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move on to my eyes, and I am going to do kind of more on the green side just because there's a lot of blue and purples already. So I'm gonna go back into that matte green uh, from the Beauty Creations palette and just smoke out my eyes in my crease. 
Next, I'm going to take this darker green from the Colored Rain palette. I'm going to take that and just use that on the outer corners of my eyes, kind of as like a smoking out effect. I'm going to go back into this um, Dream State palette and just use Blur, which I'm hoping is like a silver color. I'm taking this on my finger and I am just putting this on my eyelid. And then I am also taking that dark green shade and just going back over again just to give that some more definition and make that darker. So next I'm just going to do my wing liner, pop on some lashes, kind of finish out this look. I was kind of hoping to go without wing liner, but it just felt so, it's already so extra that you kind of need the wing liner to balance it out. It's kind of weird. So while my lashes are drying, I'm going to take some of that blue that I used on my cheeks from the Elsa palette and just use that to smoke out the bottoms of my lash line. Um, I'm going a little bit sort of more and more blown out than I normally would. So, oh, by the way, I just took that Muse color and popped it into the center of my eyes as well. So before I move on to my lips, I... I'm just like really pleased at how this is turning out because I had no idea where this was going. Anyway, so before I move on to my lips, I'm going to take that same like pencil that I used to draw my scales. I'm going to attempt to give myself some gills down here um, because like I've said many times before during this tutorial, I'm already going big so why not just keep on trying things? These gills, I would just say, like, don't make them too uniform, and also take that blending brush and blend kind of under the gill, quote unquote. Okay, um, probably not as great as I thought they would turn out, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to do, like, 3D without, like, latex and other things that, like, are literally 3D. So finally, moving on to my lips, I'm taking X-Ray, which is this black liquid lipstick. I absolutely love this. It is from Atomic Makeup. Um, it was a limited time release, so I actually don't think it is on sale anymore uh, from, you know, at this moment that I have this video up, which is a shame, and I hope she brings it back, um, but it is such a beautiful black. And then going back into the Dream State palette, just taking this trance, this blue color, and I'm just going to blot that onto the center of my lips, just using my fingers, um, just to, you know, bump this up just a little more. Okay, you guys, that is it for my tutorial. I really love how this turned out. Uh, mainly because I didn't really know where I was going and then I kind of just like figured it out as I went. Um, I hope, I know this is sort of similar to a lot of the other mermaid looks out there, but um, I really just like the way that this turned out. I really like that you can see the scales um, and it's just something different than the typical like fishnet method that a lot of people have been using for their mermaid looks. Anyway, let me know what you think about this look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed creating it. I think this is probably my second favorite look. I did really like the Galaxy one. The Tiger one, not so much just because it was just like a disaster and it was just so far out of my comfort zone. But this I can handle and I hope you guys have enjoyed. And you know, if you guys have liked the video, please just give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button here before you go. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time. Bye!